In this video, we're going to talk about solving two step equations. First, a vocabulary and describing the general method for solving two step equations. When solving two step equations, we want to work in reverse order. For example, we can write an equation as x divided by 2 plus 5 equals 11. What we did first is we divided x by 2 and then we added 5. In order to solve this, we want to subtract 5 from both sides first and then multiply by 2. And then remember, recall the golden rule of algebra. Do unto one side of the equation what you do unto the other side. Example 1. Solve a two-step equation. We're going to solve x divided by 2 plus 5 equals 11. So first thing we're going to do is we write the old equation, or the original equation. So x divided by 2 plus 5 5 equals 11. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. So we're going to be left with x divided by 2 equals 11 minus 5. And 11 minus 5 happens to be 6. So x divided by 2 equals 6. Last step, we're going to multiply both sides by 2. This will cancel out, and we're going to be left with x equals 6 times 2, which gives me 12. So x equals 12. And recall, we can double check by plug into our original equation. So we're going to do 12 divided by 2 plus 5 equals 11. 12 divided by 2 happens to be 6 plus 5 equals 11. And 6 plus 5 equals 11. So it checks out and our solution is x equals 2 and we are done. Or oh, sorry, x equals 12. two-step equation by combining like terms. We're going to solve 7x minus 4x equals 21. So our first step is we're just going to write the original equation. So that's going to be 7x minus 4x equals 21. We're going to combine our like terms. 7x minus 4x, that's going to be 3x equals 21. Now we're in a position where we just have a one-step equation to solve. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. And x equals 21 divided by 3 is 7, and we're done. We can plug that into our original equations to confirm. So 7 parentheses 7 minus 4 parentheses 7 equals 21. 7 times 7 is 49. 4 times 7 is 28. And 21, 49 minus 28 is 21. So, tw so it checks out, and our correct answer is x equals 7. And we are. Example 3 find the input of a function. The output of a function is 3 less than 5 times the input. So let's call the input. x and y we'll call the output. Okay, so the output of a function is 3 less than 5 times the input. So you can write this as 5x minus 3 and find the input when the output is 17. So the output 17, so we're going to say 5x minus 3 equals 17. Okay, we're going to start with 
solving our equation. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add 3 to both sides. So we're going to be left with 5 x equals 17 plus 3 is 20. And our last step, we're going to divide both sides by 5. And 20 divided by 5 is 4, so x equals 4. So our input is 4. If we want to confirm, we just plug in. So 5 times 4 minus 3 equals 17. Work backwards. 5 times 4 is 20 minus 3, which equals 17. And 20 minus 3 is 17, so we can say 17 equals 17. And it checks out, so our correct answer is x equals 4. And we are done. Oh, this one's about scuba diving. As a scuba diver descends into deeper waters, the pressure of the water on the diver's body steadily increases. The pressure of the surface of the water is 217 pounds per square inch, sorry, pounds per square foot. The pressure increases at a rate of 64 pounds per square foot for each foot the diver descends. Find the depth at which the diver experiences a pressure of 800 8,517 pounds per square inch. So let's write a general equation. We'll call P equals pressure. And we'll call our other variable will be D equals depth. So our general formula is P equals 2117 plus 64 D. So this is my pressure at this, this is my pressure at surface. And this is the rate of change of my pressure. Okay, so what we're going to set equal, we're going to set P equal to 5,817. 8,517 equals 2117 plus 64 day. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract 2,117 from both sides. So we're left with... 64D equals 6400. Next, we're just going to divide both sides by 64. Cross out my 64, and 6400 divided by D, 6400 divided by 64 is just going to be 100. So we're going to be left with D equals 100 or 100 feet. To confirm, we just plug into our original equation. 2117 plus 64 times 100. 
and that'll be 2117 plus 6400 and 2117 plus 6400 does give me 8517 and we're done so we're done solving for our equation hopefully this helps you understand how to solve two-step equations see you in the next video when we talk about solving multi-step equations